Hello small ones, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be fitting a new control arm, lower control arm. This one has the anti-lift kit already fitted on it, we have another one inside. And also a camera adjuster bushes. So we're going to be replacing the whole wishbone. This one's also an alloy one for the Cupra Oz. The anti-lift kit, if you can see in there, is the Super Pro anti-lift kit. And then the camera adjuster bushes are Powerflex. The whole purpose of this is to increase handling. So with front wheel drive cars especially, when you accelerate the nose goes up. So of course the wheels get slightly less grip. Unlike the name, it doesn't actually stop the nose lifting. It, the nose still lifts, but it presses the wheel into the ground. Because these bushes are slightly stiffer, it messes with the geometry and does all sorts of engineering stuff. This is in preparation for our track day as well that we're going to do in the next month or two. So, let's get into the video. Okay, so safety first as always. You want to use axle stands. If you're lifting the car on a ramp, that's all good. Just make sure you're taking necessary precautions. So, when you're jacking up your car, um, if you have the normal scissor jack, try not to use that. If you have a trolley jack, you can see the circle is only like from there to there. Um, so what I do is I get a block of wood um, and I stick it on the jack and then jack up the car because instead of all of the weight being here, like from there to there, all of the weight is spread from there to there. So I'm going to put the wheel underneath the car. I'd rather the wheel gets broken than me. It's good to inspect your tyres because, as you can see, this is where it's rubbing. Remember that rubbing noise we, we heard? It's rubbing on the suspension. Look completely bold there. So it's good I'm getting the tyres done before this video comes out. So first we're going to take off these three bolts on the car. They're 16mm. It's a bit hard to get the right angle, so that's why we're showing you on there. So what you guys are seeing right now um, is it's not really working out the way we want it to work out. So recording dirts in his room, but it's not working out the way we want it to. So we're just trying loads of different things here at the moment, just trying to figure it out together. Okay, hopefully you guys can see one nut's off. But if you look here, again, hopefully you guys can see it. All of this rust is just coming off. That one is breaking a bit more. So as I loosen it, all this rust just falls off. That's why it won't coming off. We're showing you all of this because, especially when you're doing this at home, if you don't have a ramp, if you're just like doing it the way I'm doing it, it's never gonna go right. You'll be lucky if it ever does. They were rusted on. Uh, this third one, I'm just gonna crack a bit more. That's the third nut out. 16 mils. All right, guys, you need to join in on this debate, yeah? We think that if you're going to have a car as a project car, then you need to work on it. Like, what's the point of getting a project car and then paying someone else to do the build? Does that make sense to you, guys? I don't know. Let us know what your comments and your thoughts are on this in the comments section. The whole point of a project car is built, not bought. So even if you buy a stock car and you pay someone five, ten grand to do it, they're still bought, isn't it? Because yeah. you basically had to pay someone. I mean, else it's to different do it. with specialized jobs like forging an engine. I'd never try that. There's no point paying someone to put a bigger turbo and do this, do that. Basically, going from stock to like stage three, bigger turbo and all that stuff. What's, what's the point? That's of not a else? project car, then, is it? Yeah. All right, guys. So the next one to remove is a 19 mil belt here. Quite a long one. So it's going to take you a minute. And then next, we have. Two more bolts to take out, I believe. Let me just check. 16 mil. So I'm gonna get those off and we'll come back to you. New wishbone, there's a three bolts in the triangle pattern. And on here, there were three nuts on here. So I took the three nuts off. So you can see on these two, I've taken them off. But on this top side, there's not like a head that you can get something on. It's just flat and round. Just to give you guys an update, we're still stuck um, trying to do this. Gabriel's been at it for literally hours now. Um, 
it's coming up to nine o'clock. Shout out to Josh's dad. We video called him on WhatsApp just to try and get some advice. All right, guys, so as promised, here's an update. It is two minutes to 10. Um, basically, Gups and his dad have now given up. Um, his dad came home a couple hours ago and has been helping him. Nothing's really working and he's just sort of given up at this point and I don't blame him. So what he's doing at the moment is putting everything back together and he's going to go to um, probably Joe tomorrow, Victoria Body Works. You know how there's Man V Food yet? Yeah? I think we're going to do Gut versus Gupra. We won with the intercooler, um, even though it took us nine and a half hours. Gupra has won with the wishbone thing because we've not managed to do it. We're going to have to go get it done professionally. So as the score currently stands, it is one all. All right, people. So it's Wednesday now. So two, two or three days after we started this job, new wishbones with the anti-lift kit and the camber bushes. So let's go under the car. It's on there now. All the bolts on there good. Everything set up nicely. And I'm not sure what you guys can see over here, but hopefully you can see the camber bushes. And you can see the same over there as well. That's all on there now. There's a garage down the road that did it. Um, they were saying that some of the bolts were seized and that's why we had a lot of trouble here. And you saw how much clearance we had, not much. So yeah, as you guys can see, not everything will go your way when you're doing your own car, especially at home. But it's all done now. Um, so sorry we couldn't make a proper DIY on how to do this, but yeah, it's on the car now, so we should get much better handling now, uh, much better response, and we can adjust the camera as well in the future.